Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Black Side Zeta once again, and today we are playing as the Facility Security. This is one of the teams that you guys have been really waiting for me to play and just wanting to watch me play for the longest of times now, and I'm finally bringing it to you guys. Here we are with the Facility Security. So let's go ahead and get into the game. Now, as you guys can see right off the bat, we only have 77,000 credits left. That's because I've been buying heists, I've been winning them, and I've been buying myself some guns. As the good guy team, I've been buying myself the Remington, and I've been buying myself the m4 sop mod and basically that's where all my money went i actually went and purchased it permanently so that's that's where my money went right there now we're actually gonna do something really fun and entertaining for this video i'm not gonna just be a facility security i'm actually gonna go ahead and buy myself the presence reduction module my friends have been playing with it a lot and they've been saying how much fun it is and as long as i stay hidden i shouldn't really have a problem with losing 6k credits which might be the only issue that you might ever run into with this is if you will have a high potential of losing credits go to the zm tech vendor we're gonna go on here and get myself their presence reduction module go ahead and rent it for myself and look at me go now better keep it on for the time being one thing i'm also going to check out is seeing if i can actually get these things as well which it looks like i can so instead of using the sm vector which is really cool by the way it's a silenced vector i'm going to end up using the salt mod and the remington instead we're going to go ahead and turn on the presence reduction module though of course so one of the things that's coming to the game is we are getting some attachment system and there's also a a little bit of a leak of mobile support wait can i also take heavy gear oh man i can't take heavy gear while i'm wearing the peasant reduction module but yeah we are having mobile support being developed at the moment as well as we are also oh i lost my 6k now that was the wrong time to run up there i gotta stay at a distance from people i'll go ahead and rent one more version of it it's fine anyways though mobile support and attachments are coming to the game by the looks of it i don't know if the mobile support is going to end up being its own game or if they're going to combine the mobile support into the main game which if you want my honest opinion i think they should combine the mobile support to the main game and have pc players play alongside mobile players i think that'll be the best bet so that way the player base can get up there i have no problem with buying this thing twice it's it's fun with me i'm really excited for the attachment system that's coming out in the future that sounds like it's gonna be awesome it sounds like it's gonna be really fun to mess around with and it sounds like you're gonna have to have credits for that as well and you're gonna have to buy attachments for every single gun individually so keep that in mind okay now that we got my sop mod and my remington i think we should be all right to go now most people don't get the presence reduction module because of how expensive it is and i can't blame them 6k credits is quite a bit it's definitely a good amount <laughs> Oh, that person has rogue. I lost my press reduction module again. Okay, never mind. I'm not playing with it anymore. Unfortunately, if you're as unlucky as I am, then you you died twice by messing around with the press reduction module, and now you have to get your money back. Like like me, yay! Rogue is so good though. Rogue is too good. It it makes it so hard. Unfortunately though, as well, the rogue perk is still unavailable i grinded up to the point where i could afford it but then i decided it's not coming back anytime soon so i went ahead and bought myself some weapons on both of the teams and eventually i'm probably gonna end up buying myself a weapon on the patient team so that way i can have a gun permanently on all the teams but yeah that's that's pretty much my plans right now but then again like i said those leaks i brought up earlier i'm really excited for i can't even deny how excited i am for the attachments and mobile support i'm not a mobile player personally i know that a majority of you guys watching my videos enjoy playing on roblox through mobile stuff that's why i'm super excited because that means i get to hang out with more of you guys i get to see more of you guys i get to hang out with all of you guys basically and that's that's something that's exciting to me okay well i just uh ended up killing a medic by accident I ended up telling an HF and then I got pushed back and now they're all going to go up into the overview area and they're going to camp out there I believe probably I wouldn't be I wouldn't even be surprised. I do have a question for you guys though. What is your favorite team to play on in Black Knight Zeta? Mine has to be HF. I have the most fun playing as HF and it's not even because of the bad guys. It's just that they get the most action all the time if they choose to. And unfortunately with the, the way that the game is right now, you can't be a security guard and go find action in any server like I can in an SCP roleplay. SCP roleplay, a lot of people have access to CI and a lot of people can play a CI whenever they want. So usually whenever I uh, find a server that has a lot of CI or patience in that game, I can always just switch to a good guy team and just enjoy myself uh, by finding back the, good, the bad guys. But unfortunately in this game, that's not, that's not the most easiest thing to do. Well, that was a good time to pop my adrenaline surge right there more than likely they're all gonna be up here as well so let's go ahead and try to fight this real quick also thank you guys so much for 2k subs i just forgot to even mention that 
But I am so thankful for the 2k subs as well. I just got those two. Okay, interesting. Don't know why they didn't fight back right away. They kind of just sat there as I, as I rushed them, but okay. I broke that person's armor, but I was not able to uh, get him. Well, I'm shooting that person in the arm now. I need to reload real quick. I'm going to rush. Uh, unless I'm getting launched over there. I said launch by accident. Did not mean to say the word launch. That was a weird thing to say. Broke that person's armor as well, then died, and now I'm getting bagged by someone who's lagging. <laughs> What's more of an insult? Them bagging me or them lagging so visibly that it makes them literally not be able to bag me properly? Also, I want to ask you guys as well, do you guys plan on doing the Metaverse event? The one that is going on currently for Roblox? Because for me personally, I actually see myself doing it, and I'm going to end up doing it as well. It seems like it's going to be a really fun event. Which, in fact, SCP Roleplay is also participating in the event, which is going to be really fun as well. Anyways, those are the only questions I really have to ask you guys. But yeah, back to what I was saying earlier. Thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. I couldn't ask for anything more. You guys are amazing, and I can't even describe to you guys how much I really appreciate every single one of you. I thought that I was using my Thamus for a second there, so I was bursting the SOP mod. <laughs> rogue. Every time it's Rogue. <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't. Every time it's Rogue. Rogue makes me sad. And more than likely, I'm going to end up getting some more Robux for myself, which means that when I get more Robux, I'll be able to bring you guys more content. And uh, that's pretty much where all my money really goes, is I always try to put back into my content for you guys. And I try to produce the best amount of content I can for you guys. Obviously, quality won't be the best all the time, 24-7, depending on the quantity. But I can tell you guys right now, if you guys go look at my first videos ever, you guys will obviously see that I have improved quite a bit. I mean, even when I go back, I'm like, dang, I have improved heavily in my editing and my videos as a whole. And I hope that you guys feel the same way. Please, please. I should have popped a adrenaline surge right there. And you know what? Ugh, man, unfortunate for me. Luckily though, TS keep resupplying the vendor so that way I can continuously have the M4 shot mod and the Remington 780. So that's, that's really solid. Oh, there's an innocent over here. Not for long. He's HF, he, they need to die. Okay, well, this is getting into a weird area. Goodbye. I'm gonna see if anyone's up here because more than likely there always is. I mean, every time I've played this game, it feels like some people always like to camp in here, so. All right, well, I didn't see anybody over here. Brush in here, nobody over here either. I just want you guys to know that I really do appreciate you all and I'm really grateful for having 2K subs now. That that means the world to me. You guys are awesome and I love every single one of you guys. So I was in the patient housing for a little bit there and I was trying to see if any of the HF or the patients were trying to push through there and it doesn't really seem like it. We only have one technical staff on right now, so there's not a lot of, uh, you know, engineering going on in here. So we're not really getting a lot of repairs going. But I mean, hey, that's that's just the life of the facility, it feels like, at this point. What I could do is I could also go get myself... Uh, you know, Nico Messer is a pro, okay? He's a, he's a fan of mine, too. Sure, yeah, I'm a, they, just because he told people that I'm a pro? Sure, yeah, I'm a, pro, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of, indeed. I guess I'll check one last thing over here. I'm gonna go ahead and check the Sector 1 entrance area over here and yeah there's nothing much i can really do other than that oh hello i was about to blast whatever was on the other side of that also one of the cool things i found out right is if you come into here <gasps> if you come into here you jump through that rectangle you can actually do something really cool it looks like that you won't even expect it Get adrenaline surge let's go i really didn't need an adrenaline surge that but i also didn't want to die i have a remington and a sop mod on me anyways that's gonna be it for this video and i hope that every single one of you guys enjoyed and as always i enjoyed making this video for you guys i enjoy making all of my videos for you guys as always and uh, seriously though like thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers i cannot even fathom that number right now like that is that is insane Thank you guys so much for that. It really means a lot to me. If you guys want to see more content like this, you guys can leave a like or a comment down below. If you guys want to see more content from me in general, you guys can subscribe. And if you guys want to get notified for when I do anything on this channel, you guys can hit the notification bell. Don't forget to join my Roblox group and my community Discord server in the description below. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye